Es gibt zwei Sorten von Ratten. Es gibt zwei Sorten Ratten. Es gibt zwei Sorten Ratten. Die Satten bleiben vergnügt zu Hause. Die Hungrigen und die Satten.
Foghorns, the loneliest days, damp and indistinct, sea and land a haze, and purple foghorns blossomed over tides, bruises being born in silence, so slow, so out there, around, above and below. In such hurts of sound, the known world became neither flat nor round. The steaming teapot was all we fathomed of is and is not. The hours were hallways with doors at the ends, opened into days fading into night, and the scattering particles of light. Nothing was done then. Nothing was ever done. Then it was done. Pacific Light. At the end of a winter day, the light beyond the lighthouse point is turning fatal, glittering far out, or closer in the mains flung back from waves caught in the act of breaking. It fills the room and thins to bleeding out until the colors heighten. It streaks the salt where windows frame a half-occluded view. I remember now, the light in my mother's house above a bay, a virile western sun bleaching the spines of books, fading furniture and making the candles we lit at dinner time doubly sad. I've watched for 60 years the sun on western water Islands, clouds, the mud flats, oyster beds, and fishing masts. The light I thought a poem should be infused with. The light a man might die by in his bed. The light remembered women leave behind and children recollect like broken dolls. The light destroyers cut with their gray prows in my father's war. Light the lava died in with massive gouts of steam and spouts of whales. Light in the cedars, redwoods, spruces, firs. Car windows flashing from the coastal roads. Light in a woman's hair the campfire light of surfers turning back to watch the waves, the silhouettes of harbor seals, their eyes haunted in dark sockets, lightless, watching. Light the dead will never see again, and the living dead will never apprehend. No pill or whiskey and no burning weed 
can touch the light, nor can the blue flame of the struck match or lightning's jagged stroke that sets the woods aflame. A passing light that holds us watching motionless as seals till night returns us to our element. Oh, <laughs> 
Bass adds bass for Dom Lash and his bass. Bass adds bass, wrapping round a line, taking it for a walk. Stand up, upright, holding immediacy, no abstract nothing, a disruption into form, force expended to an end, strong, active and voracious, characterised by abundance and excess. Dance of power and weight, a firm and fast footing and harmonious development, hand over hand. So add a little bass, a low wave become audible under the song, determinedly indeterminate. Mechanisms of affinity closely modeled, brushed, dragged, and smeared, simultaneously tangled, scraped, wiped and scratched, bringing objects before the mind in definite thought. Change the phrase, change the phase, the process accentuated, whence the base, merely black, dark and impure, brimful of content, translated to immediacy, a soft boom a hoarse roar, suspended indifference, indifference suspended, setting the rhythm, minute, particular, pure apperception looking out for the beat, the straight line and the curve, knotted and projecting capacity and power, practical builder of elegant convergences, the sound brightens time and possibility, abstract, unfettered. In the beginning, what was the? In the first place, start from being, from base, the end not identical with the object. Thus, after the beat, the thrum and pulse, it's a bay, 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 bay.
Vielen Dank, Dominic Clash, Steve Noble. Vielen Dank. Gott schon. Noch eine Absage.
Okay, next up we have Sylvia Hallett on violin and Chris Dowding on trumpet and both of them will be playing in next month's uh, live programme. So here we go.
Thank <laughs> you.